Hi Sharon, are you there? I'm here. Hello. Good afternoon or good morning, everybody. Um, it's a great uh, courses being talked about so far. So um, I'm Sharon Wallace and I'm here to talk to you about the creative and media courses um, and also our music courses, um, all our diplomas from level one to level three and also our um, foundation year that we'll be doing alongside uh, the uh, Staffordshire University. Next slide. Thank you. So um, at our Tom Tottenham and Enfield campuses, we have a range of courses. Um, our courses start from, as I said earlier, level one to level three. So I'm just going to go through um, each of the courses that we're offering and uh, let you know what those courses involve. So Carl, just at any time, if there are any questions about any of the courses I'm talking about, do feel free to just hop in. Um, so first of all, the level one media is run at both Enfield and Tottenham centres. Um, we run an, an introduction, the course gives you an introduction to digital imaging. Um, you learn about interactive media, multimedia, uh, video production, animation. Uh, you get um, to learn about the different job opportunities um, in media and also you begin to learn how to work in a team because that's really important um, when you're working on any sort of media roles. Most of your roles will involve working alongside with someone or for someone doing a particular task. So that's our kind of foundation level and that's run at both Tottenham and Enfield. Here at Tottenham, we also run a level one music and it's a really good introduction to the uh, music industry. Um, you learn how to use digital audio workstations, um, so such as Logic, Ableton, um, you learn how to mix and master music. We have a wonderful recording studio. You can see, kind of see a bit of a picture of it at the back there, completely digital with a recording booth as well. Um, and it can do really professional recordings and you learn how to use that. And as a student, you can actually book the space as well and use it for your productions. So it's a really popular um, uh, um, access for students um, and also you will do live performances um, and you'll organise these performances and it's a lot more about working behind the scenes, setting up and that type of thing, working in a team and also running live event productions. Um, so that's our kind of level one offer um, at Tottenham Centre but at Enfield and Tottenham we both do um, creative media production. For our level two offers, uh, we do uh, digital media production and again, you can progress to uh, music performance. Um, if you've done a level one course or you have level one qualifications, um, and for our level two media, you'll learn how to do graphic design and uh, you'll learn how to do video and audio production. Uh, you'll do app prototypes, you'll learn how to make prototype apps. Um, last year, the students made a prototype app for a promotional um, company and they wanted to get some sort of feel of how an app could work. So they worked alongside one of our external clients um, to produce a proto prototype app. Um, you do animation and 2D games and also podcasting. Um, you also get media industry practice and you get that alongside all of our courses. Uh, you work with external clients and external briefs. Um, and then our music performance, uh, you will be doing Logic and Ableton, again, the digital audio workstations, um, doing audio for film and games, and you may be working with um, our media students for those to sort of provide and make music for adverts and that type of thing. Uh, practical recording, um, exploring composition, you're doing live productions and performances, and again, the sort of background knowledge of the music industry and how you can make your way through the music industry. Hi Sharon, got a got a question yes. coming from uh, Hakan um, who asks, um, do you provide extra time and study support? Absolutely, we we um, do um, su uh, supply support particularly. We have a lot of students who progress from our supported learning department, which is great um, because uh, we're able to provide that support for students, um, not only with all the tech and everything, but also with all the teaching and learning that you need to understand how to work um, 
and create creative products. So yes, we provide support and um, that sort of is organised through our supported learning, but also your course tutor if you don't have a um, educational healthcare plan. Uh, we do do support you anyway and, and support uh, students in the classroom. Thanks for that, Sharon. Um, do you want me to move on to your level three or are you yes, still in? Yes, please. Yeah, yes, do move on to level three. OK, at our Tottenham Centre, we also offer um, level three um, digital media. We offer music and animation and games. And this is where you're kind of more specialising in the creative area. So our um, digital media students, what they will do is work on uh, music video and with all of the courses you work on projects so we work the way the industry works we don't kind of teach you individual um, skills we actually teach you skills um, in in accordance to whatever project you're working on and this is the way the industry work and we want you to learn how to work um, as the industry does so that it gives you a better opportunity when you progress. So um, for our media courses, we do music video as one of the projects, um, live show editing and streaming. So this is where you're working with live um, equipment, editing equipment, sound, lighting, etc. You may have a role of managing a uh, production um, and also we do short film, um, graphic design, marketing and promotional materials and eye dents and special effects. Um, on all of our courses, you have access to professional software. So we have the Adobe suite that's available to all students. And if we are still working virtually, all students still have access to that software. So um, our students at the moment are able to use the Adobe suite um, at home uh, to continue and work with um, their coursework. Um, we also have Able, and um, logic. Um, we for um, digital games, we're using programs like Unity and Maya. So um, you get really good skills and uh, knowledge around using that software. For our music performance course, you'll be doing uh, music composition again, but to a much more detailed um, perspective, audio production for games, film and television. Studio engineering, uh, we do mixing and mastering again in the studio, uh, performance management and production, and also again, the underlying knowledge about the music industry. Um, animation, we're doing, uh, you'll be learning 2D and 3D design, concept art, 3D modeling and design, um, you learn how to create environments and characters using 3D software. Our game design, we do games design and production, um, and you get to create your own digital portfolio because in order for you to progress and to work in industry, one of the most important things is to have a presence online, showing your work, what you can do, your skills, and we support you with that. And also we teach you how to manage your own production. Um, and this is a question, Carl, you can go to the next slide. So at our Enfield Centre, um, as I mentioned earlier, they offer um, level one creative courses and level two and level three. I talked a bit about the level one earlier on. So the level two media, you'll be doing website design, film and editing, 2D graphics, podcasting and sound effects. So a really nice rounded offer there for you to decide what you want to specialise in. And at level three, students are often organised to do a range of different things in games design and development, film and special effects, 3D graphics, streaming and sound engineering. Next slide, please, Carl. OK, so we're really excited about this because this is our level three foundation year that we um, are, have organised uh, with Staffordshire University. And if you're not aware of Staffordshire University, they're one of the best universities for games and 3D um, 
for design. Uh, so we've partnered with them to offer you a foundation year. And I'm not going to talk too much about this, but you can see the three courses that we're offering, which is games industry, community management, esports. But what I would suggest is that you do come to our open day, uh, which is on the 13th of June. And obviously it's a virtual open day and you can sign up at uh, the Digital Institute London website. So that's dilondon.staffs.com. Dot ac dot uk. But these are the three courses we're offering for the foundation year and you'll be working um, at our campus in Tottenham, but also you'll be working at Here East um, in Stratford and they have a great uh, location there uh, with lots of um, up to date equipment and um, a real esports um, studio. Sharon, I've got a question coming from Christina asking, um, does the level three BTEC give you three A levels or the equivalent of and um, do you offer this course at Enfield? So that's the uh, BTEC level three. Do we have it at Enfield? Yes, it does give you uh, the equivalent of uh, three A levels. So basically, yes, we do offer the level three at Enfield. And uh, basically what you will do is uh, you do your first year, which gives you about one, one and a half A levels. And then your second year gives you another one and a half A levels. And that's offered, that is offered at, at Enfield, yes. I think that's a good time to move on to your next slide, which I think is looking at Enfield anyway. Uh, no, I looked at Enfield just now. So, I, um, oh, sorry, apologies. It's, it's self development, isn't it? It is, apologies. yes, yeah, yeah. So, uh, my next slide basically, um, I'm just explaining here about the offer um, and the support around the offer we do. So, it's not only about doing a course. We know that the industry, the media industry, is the most competitive industry. Um, it's a multi billion pound industry, but it's also very competitive and not easy to get into. So, we spend a lot of time. Um, spending time with you and uh, building your skills, your confidence and also your entry into the industry. We have a dedicated work experience officer and her role is to generally get you real work experience. And I'm not talking about working in um, an, an industry, retail industry or another industry outside of the creative industry. This is industry experience in the creative industries. Um, we've worked with content creators, um, graphic designers, photography studios, charities, film festivals. We have a lot of people coming to us because we offer um, you opportunities to do external briefs as well, which means that we already build these relationships um, with small companies and larger companies as well. Um, so you get real experience in the industry. Um, for your progression, lots of our students progress obviously to the next level of their course. Some go on to university, some go on to do an apprenticeship, um, and others go on to do part time and full time work. But whatever you decide to do, we give you support with your UCAS applications. Um, we go to open days with you, um, let you know about open days. We give you interview practice. Um, we build your digital portfolio. So when you go out and speak to employers, you've got something to show them the work that you've, you've got and the skills that you've built. Um, and also uh, we help you with your online presence. And your online presence is so important. As soon as you apply for a job or um, you apply to work as a runner or anything in the industry, the first thing someone will do is, is uh, Google you. And so we know that's really important. So we make sure that your online presence is tip top. But not only that, we offer a really good enrichment programme. We offer so many trips and activities for you to have relationships with employers and to see how the industry really works. Uh, we have Canal Creative Hub, which is generally something that all the students are automatic members of. Uh, where you put on shows and live events. Um, we also do an end of year show as well. And the students organise these things so that you can learn how to create content and uh, create experiences for people visiting the show. Um, we've done visits to, well, every year we go to BBC Introducing and that's really key for music artists um, to um, collaborate and to network. 
uh, we do advertising trips to advertising agencies, Sky Academy, EGX Res, which is really popular for the games industry, the London Games Festival. There are lots of fringe events that we absolutely get involved in. Um, the media production show. Uh, we had the Discovery Channel come to visit us last week, last year, and did some work with students um, on a pitch. And um, also Build London Studios, which um, they run a platform on YouTube. Um, doing lots of live short live live um, interviews so that sort of encompasses all the things that we do to support you and build your experience and knowledge around the industry Sharon can I just ask a question um Christina's just looking for some clarification on the level three BTEC mm -hmm. is it over two years and how many days a week is it is it three days a week so yes yeah, so most courses are three days a week and it's over um, two years. So to get the um, three level, three A level equivalent, you would need to do two, uh, two years, the full two years. Brilliant. Thank you very much for ans answering that one. Um, am I right in thinking, was it some of your learners potentially went to Sky? Yes, yeah. So we went to Sky um, Academy and uh, did um, got involved in lots of uh, production and filmmaking there. And it's such a great trip because Sky really put on a good show to give you the experience of what it's like to work in television. Um, so we took, I think, um, over different trips. We took about 80 students there and uh, they all got involved in making programmes, uh, being presenters, being behind the scenes, operating and driving desks and all of those type of things and actually talking to people that work in Sky. So they always have people that actually work at the company to talk about their experiences and how they got into the industry. Um, they also have an apprenticeship programme as well and we let our students know about that so um yeah it's it's a really good um trip and we we try to do that every year and every time that obviously sky sky um put these uh, events on and then uh, another question actually just come in uh, this one's from jennifer um she's done the level one and level two in childcare, but she's thinking she wants to move to media um as a bit of a, a change uh, is that something she can do? Can she jump onto level three or does she need to work her way up through the levels? Well, really, it's a good idea if uh, she could come in and talk to us about it. But ideally, it might be good to sort of, depending on how old you are and to and what experience you have, because that's the most important thing. If you've never done media before, it might be a bit daunting jumping in at level three. Um, but it, um, it would be good for you to maybe have a go at level two and see how much you enjoy. And also the good thing about our level two program is that you get to try lots of different things. At level three, we tend to specialise more. So, for example, I mentioned earlier and a few slides back that um, we offer uh, level two um, media um, and level three media, but we also offer level three games animation. So when if you do a level two programme, you might find that, oh, I actually quite enjoy um, making games. I actually quite enjoy working with 3D. I'm, I'm not enjoying so much working with cameras or it might be the other way around. So at level three, you can specialise a little bit more. But of course, if you have the qualifications to go on to level three, you can. And we do teach you everything from the beginning, but you may want to try starting at level two first. Thanks, Sharon. I think we're pretty much wrapping up now. So if you could just remind everyone how they apply and look at your courses uh, and then uh, I'll let you enjoy your rest of your weekend. Thank you. OK, so yes, if you want to apply to any of our media courses, then please um, go online and uh, book a session for an interview. Thanks, Sharon. Um, thank you very much. And uh, if there's any more questions, what we'll do is we'll pop them over to you. And I'm okay. sure you'll get, get back to them. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. OK, bye bye.